the attack on the Pentagon have now been accounted for. Um, and just one final uh, piece of information that I've just received. A British rescue team is tonight, is, is this afternoon, on standby to travel to America to help in the search for survivors in the wake of these attacks. It's the International Rescue Corps, uh, which is based in Scotland. Uh, of course, as we know, they've been called in to help with disasters across the world. They're now offering their services uh, to the United States in New York and Washington. Helen Wright, for now, thank you very much for that update. Stay with ITV1 for all the latest on the disaster as it unfolds in the US. The attack on the World Trade Center in New York destroyed one of the world's most famous landmarks. Casualties are not known, but it's feared thousands of people may have been killed. The island of Manhattan, the epicenter of the world's economy, is now devastated. This report on the events in New York from Howell Jones. On a Manhattan morning, it seemed at first like a terrible accident. An airliner had crashed into one of the twin towers of the World Trade Center. Debris fluttered down from the upper stories of the tower, nearly a third of a mile high, raining onto the streets of New York's financial district and commuters making their way to work. Minutes later, events took a more terrible and sinister turn. A second airliner punched its way into the steel and glass structure of the other tower. Immediately, it was apparent that this was no accident, but a terrorist attack, coordinated and deadly. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, to the Governor of New York, to the Director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government uh, go to help the victims and their families. Within minutes of George Bush's address, the tragedy deepened. The weakened structure of one tower collapsed onto the streets below. Whatever rescue attempts might have been going on in the remaining tower were in vain. It too burned, then broke up, a landmark disappearing, countless lives lost in a few moments. Those who escaped the attacks, then the collapses, walked like ghosts through the dust clouds which enveloped dozens of streets and avenues, ash two to three inches deep.